What are you guys doing here at Seattle Cloud? Do you have any I don't know. We were anything? just asking ourselves, like, what <laughs> yeah. are we doing? You can just fold down the case, fold it in half. This is an 80 mil rise bar, two bolt. And it slides on without having to pry it open. Winnebago booth, this place is really rad. We've been wanting to see one of these in person for so long now, and we really heavily considered this option. What makes the otter so special? I mean, I just really have to echo what they said. It's like this mystical creature that you don't know much about until Are they you real? get to see otter. Yeah. Aren't they real? They're real, right? We are in the middle of a crazy Southern California heat wave. Hannah's doing a quick errand right now, and as soon as she's done, we are heading to the beach ASAP. Today, luckily, is going to be our last day in Southern California, just because uh, we're actually headed to the Sea Otter Classic, which is in Monterey. But for today, we're heading to the beach ASAP and getting some acai. The only issue we have right now is this. This has been, I think, everyone's issue. Reserve gas. We have very little gas just because it's been so expensive, so we haven't really been filling up. I'm all about manifestation, but I don't think you can manifest your way out of running out of gas. <laughs> How hot is it out there? It's so hot, and I had to walk so far to get this box. It's like the hottest day we've had here in a long time. I think it's supposed to be a high of 94 today, and it's already one, so I think we should probably go to the beach like right now. Oh, good news. Diesel is starting to go down. Now we're only paying $5.69 for diesel. <laughs> Can anyone guess how much it's gonna cost to fill up the tank? I'm gonna go ahead and say $124. I'm gonna do the oldest trick in the book. I'm gonna say $125. Hannah won. Oh my god. I'm not happy that I won. Yeah. I'm not happy that I won. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I happy that it's it won? a good game. What was it? Our favorite part about being back in SoCal and the temps heating up has to be all the trips we take to our friend's acai shop in San Clemente. If you have never been, we can't recommend Alohana Bowls enough as it's the best acai bowl I've ever had and we've had a lot of them. Hey, what's up? I am Robert. I am from Aloha Acai Bowls and Coffee, which is in San Clemente. You might notice the name change. We're going to be called Alohana. Some things are happening there, so you'll see that. Uh, we're in downtown San Clemente. We serve a full coffee bar, smoothies. We have some, some frappes, and then we also have some amazing acai bowls. So come check us out. Actually, we're going to take Mo's order right now. <laughs> well, we'll definitely take the lowers. That's been our go-to. Acai and warm weather go hand in hand, and so does the beach. So we headed to our favorite place in SoCal, Laguna Beach, for some fun in the sun. Also, we have been loving our new camera setup too. What do you guys think? All right, good morning, you guys. It is the next day. We're headed to Sea Otter, bright and early. We're gonna be there for day one. Who knows if we're actually gonna be awake for day one, but we will be there. On oatmeal. We've been obsessed with these things and they've been on sale at Whole Foods, so now that they're not on sale anymore, I probably won't be buying them, but they're really good. Should we do a mukbang? Is that what the people do now? Mukbangs? Overnight oats. <laughs> I guess I could make my own overnight oats. It's probably not that hard, right? We made ourselves overnight. That didn't make sense. That didn't make sense. <laughs> that didn't make sense at all. You guys, we're really tired. We're going to head to Sea Otter. It's also like super foggy out. And yeah, we're going to get there. It says like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. So let's hit the road. Sea Otter. Phew. 
the road, Jack, and don't come back no more, no more. <laughs> I would like to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Let's go. After an early morning wake up, it was finally time to hit the road. It has been a while since we have been at Sea Otter, and we are excited to finally get back up there and see everyone. If you have never been to Sea Otter, the best way to describe it is a cyclist dream. There are hundreds of brands that come out to display their latest and greatest gear. Not to mention all the free swag and coffee you can score. There really is something for everyone. If you combine this with the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival, you really have the perfect mountain bike event calendar. What's up YouTube? I'm Robert. This is the Sea Otter Classic. Welcome, Welcome to Sea Otter. Otter. Welcome to Sea Otter. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's a family channel! What? <laughs> what makes the Sea Otter Classic so special? Uh, all the vendors and the free beer. It's free beer everywhere. What makes Sea Otter so special? It's the amount of people you talk to, the sunshine, you're in California. It's been raining up at home, so it's, yeah. Sea Otter's always been a great, great event for that. What makes Sea Otter so special? Fuck, man. Pit Viper. What makes Sea Otter so special? Uh, it's a mammal, it can breathe underwater, and it lives uh, finding sea creatures that live underneath, crustaceans, yada yada. For me, it's being able to come to Monterey and go to the aquarium and be able to see sea otters in their natural element, because they truly are just one of the most majestic beasts. What makes Sea Otter so special? I mean, I just really have to echo what they said. It's like this mystical creature that you don't know much about until you get to sea otter. Yeah. Aren't they real? They're real, right? How was oh, your whoa, sea otter experience? Whoa, then? whoa, what's what is that? <laughs> what's in there? <laughs> what is in there? Summo! I'm Brooke. Ryan, what do you do? I do PR and marketing. How's life treating you? It's good. It's like hot and balmy and I'm sweating profusely. Solid descriptions. How, yeah. how has the Sea Otter Classic been? It's been hot and I'm <laughs> sweating. And... What are you guys doing here at Sea Otter Cloud? Do you have any I don't products? Know. We're, we're just been... asking ourselves, like, <laughs> what are we doing here? Pay for the noodles. No, yeah, it's really good to see you. Yeah. On yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah, we don't have anything new. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just a hotel. Solid crew. Oh, oh, what's up? You guys doing? <laughs> here, you guys are going to need some of these. Oh, what are those? Oh, whoa, yeah, here, whoa, come whoa. Here, come here. Bro, we got here at 4.30 in the morning. I'm running out an hour of sleep. Winnebago booth, this place is really rad. We've been wanting to see one of these in person for so long now, and we really heavily considered this option. It's the Winnebago Echo. It's really cool, and it's a lot wider than a traditional Sprinter, because it's a Ford chassis with the box in the back. But it's really sick, so let's go look at it real quick. See how non-van life would look feel. Look how wide it is. Oh There's my so God. much space. And you have two like actual seats right here and a TV. It's insane. This thing is so nice. Oh, this is the microwave I'm gonna order though. Well, so most RVs will do a separate toilet and shower room, but this one combines both. So you have the toilet and then you can swing this around and then you have the shower. Oh, whoa. Isn't that cool? Did we make a mistake with going to the van? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. There's two twin beds. We can have our own sides. Yeah, we can have our own sides or you can put these down. See, I've done a lot of research, oh, guys. Oh, no one you're, even you're showed really? me this right now. <laughs> you can put these down and make it into a queen. Oh my god. Oh. These are so much storage, like it's insane. This is the only reason why we didn't get it. You can only fit two bikes. That's not good for us. Unless you put them on the outside, which we don't want to do. Oh, you get the awning in the rear too? Yeah, it's That's probably so an cool. option add-on, yeah. But it's cool, I mean, if you're like retired, it's just you only got two bikes, you want some storage in there. It's cool that you got a whole garage on here, that door. I feel like most people don't mind having the bikes outside too, so yeah. you can always do that. Hannah, do you think this is gonna be a turnout? <laughs> this is so. now a new style. <laughs> <laughs> new style. Wait, are you supposed to get the paint on the, the lens? It's exactly where it's supposed to go. <laughs> Boom! There it is. Boom! Check it. New style. <laughs> Who's, up? Who's up? Who's up? Who's <laughs> up? I can't see anything, but it's right. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Adrian. I'm from Peak Design, and uh, we are a carry company. So we've been in the camera space, so camera accessories and bags. So this is our phone case, and it has uh, what we call the Slim Link connection system right here. These are our bike mounts. So this is the out front bike mount and this is the universal bike mount. And you'll see that these little teeth on the side here open and close, very easy. And uh, it's not going anywhere. Hey, this is Colin from Orcase, a brand new Axiom bike travel case. 
It's a full-size case, so you don't need to take the fork off. Just remove your wheels. Pedals can stay on. Handlebars can stay on your gravel bike or road bike. It'll fit a 29er downhill bike. And it's the lightest case in the world. It's gonna weigh in under 20 pounds. And best part is when you're done, or you get to your location, you're in Oaxaca, and you hop in the back of your shuttle van, you can just fold down the case, fold it in half, fits in a trunk, fits in a hotel room. Hi, I'm Willem with 5Dev, uh, Components out of San Diego, California. Co-founders, Chris and Steve. There's Chris right there. <laughs> a year ago, they made this crank, and last fall we put it on the internet, and it blew up, so this is our crank. Comes in sizes of 155 to 175. Um, it's on a three-piece system. This is something that's really cool. This is our titanium stem. This is an 80 mil rise bar, two bolt. And it slides on without having to pry it open. Hey guys, I'm Sven with Fizari down here at Sea Otter, just showcasing some of our bikes. Um, got some cool things down here. We're kind of displaying the LaSalle for the first time in public down here. So the, the LaSalle, we just rode this in Santa Cruz a couple days ago and it's just, it's as good on the way up as it is on the way down for being such a big bike. It's just, I don't feel worthy of how, how smooth it is going through tech stuff. Really awesome, it's gotten a lot of really good feedback over the last little while from media companies and some of the athletes that we have out racing on it this weekend here down in the enduro and downhill races. Hello Mo and Hannah awesome fans. <laughs> We're here at Sea Otter the Pit Viper booth. This is a minivan that we call Pat. It's a per perfectly average transportation. It's an O2 Sienna and we're giving it away. We've got our new brap strap. This came out last month. This is our uh, in-house design, dedicated moto and gravity mountain bike goggle. I was just standing here, you know, taking in the rays, and these guys pulled up. How great is that? The same bike as the last time, just a little bit different. You got the Envy bar and stem still. Got the Yeti SB150 still. Push shock. More importantly though, five dev crank, pedals, ring. Right there. Hey guys, this is Wes with Sea Sucker. We are at Sea Otter 2022. In my hand, I have a six inch vacuum mount. What this allows me to do is vacuum out all the air as I pump. So you'll see the pads start to flatten out like a pancake as I draw air out of it. 210 pounds of pull strength per six inch mount. So this rack right here, you see 210 times three mounts, you have 630 pounds of pull force fly across the country, put it on any rental car. Rental cars, rideshare cars, your friends' cars, leased cars, your future cars, it'll work on anything. I'm Falco from Ortlieb, and I'd like to show you the Sea Otter Festival today, two of our new products, and this is the new seat pack Kua. We have some lever system, strap system, which make this very quick to detach and attach to the bike. So you see the 12 post uh, set up with a clamp on this point. You only need to open the Velcro on the front. You take off the compression straps. Take off the compression straps. And then you have two levers and oh, it's switched on. Otherwise, you pull it on, take the lever down, take the compression straps, close the Velcro and it's ready to go. Hello guys, my name is Mao. We are at KMA booth. So uh, just gonna show you some of our products. Uh, actually, I wanted, I wanted to see the Freeride Fiesta uh, collaboration we did. Well, KMA is a brand dedicated to uh, develop products. Uh, we're based in Guadalajara, Mexico. And yeah, you can see over there, uh, over here, all of our products. Mm -hmm. 